A little artistic photo fun today on App Judgment. This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. My name is Ron Richards, and I can admit that from time to time I get a little iPhone envy. When I saw Stephanie Chu's review for Camera Bag for the iPhone, my first thought was, hey, I want an app like that. And while the saying goes for the iPhone, there's an app for that. With more and more Android apps getting released, that's becoming true for Android as well. So in my searches, I discovered FX Camera, a free app developed by YMST.APK, and at first glance, it appeared to be exactly what I'm looking for. When you launch the app, you're presented with a bunch of effects that you can choose from in a very unique way of presenting them. You have to tilt your phone to landscape mode, and you can scroll through the various effects, like Toy Cam, Paul Android, Fish Eye, Symmetry Cam, and the Andy Warholizer. There's also a normal camera mode. Once you select an effect, it loads up FX Camera's camera application. Now this is a bonus that makes this application noticeable immediately. It adds a layer of functionality that the default camera from Android lacks. Along the right side, you've got some action buttons. The shot button takes your photo, but before you do that, you're gonna to wanna to press autofocus. This is awesome. The camera in the G1 has autofocus with the default camera, but it autofocuses when you snap a pic. With FX camera, now you've got a little more control over the focus to make sure when your pic is crystal clear. When the camera has set the autofocus, you get a little green light above it telling you you're good to go. Under the autofocus button, there's a config button that takes you to the settings for each effect you choose. For each effect, you've got specific settings and controls over the photo you want to take, as well as the ability to select the resolution. Once your settings are selected and your focus is set, you're ready to take some photos. After you press shot, the camera takes your photo, then applies the effect to it. Once the effect has been applied, you get a menu of choices to save, share via whatever app you choose, whether it's email, Twitter, pixel pipe, etc. You can discard it or rotate the photo left or right. App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. GoDaddy.com makes it easy to customize your own virtual dedicated server. Choose one of three popular plans or select your own Linux or Windows server with all the plan options you need. Support App Judgment and use the code JUDGE1 to get 10% off your entire order at checkout. All right, so I've taken some pics with some of the different effects. Let's check them out. Toy Cam is a cool effect that gives your photos a retro feel by playing with the colors. Pole Android makes your photos look like they were Polaroids, giving a white border around them and a bit of adjusting to the colors for that retro feel. Fisheye does just what it says, applies a fisheye lens filter to your photo. Symmetry Cam takes your image and applies a symmetric copy to it. Not sure why you'd want this, but I guess it's neat. If you're a pop art fan, then the Andy Warholizer is for you. It takes your image, makes four copies, and applies pop art coloring to them so you can look like a Warhol painting. Those are the only effects currently available, but the developers promise to be adding more soon. They're pretty cool though, right? Seems like the perfect app. Almost. I did have some nitpicks. My main complaint around this application didn't become clear until after I used it a few times, when I realized a couple of things. First, you can only apply the effects to pictures you took with the app. So if you took a great photo with your friends with the default camera app and you want to run the toy cam filter on it, no such luck. But that's fine, you just start using the app as your default camera. But what if you take a great pic of you and your coworker, but you had it set to fisheye and you don't want it to be fisheyed? Tough luck, you shouldn't have been using that filter. Once the FX camera takes a photo and applies the filter, you can't get the original photo unfiltered. Finally, the photos FX camera saves save on your SD card, which is great for storage, but when I access my gallery, they're not in the camera pictures folder, rather in the all pictures folder, which makes it a bit of a nuisance to find them. Like I said, those are nitpicks, but when you take a step back and look at what the app has to offer, it balances out. With four cool and unique filters for your photos, control over autofocus, and an easy to use UI, the fact that you can't undo a filter and get the original photo or apply the filters to other photos really isn't that bad. If you want to take artsy photos and are tired of the boring old plain old camera, FX camera is really the only way to go. Download this app. So what do you think? Are you an FX camera whiz? Head over to our forums at revision3.com slash appjudgment and post some of the photos you took with FX camera. You can also find all the ways to subscribe to App Judgment and never miss an episode. Don't forget about our Facebook page over at facebook.com slash appjudgment and on Twitter at twitter.com slash appjudgment. Have any other apps you think we should check out? Email us at appjudgment at revision3.com and let us know. I'm Ron Richards. This is App Judgment. I'm going to go take a picture of Eileen. <laughs>